areas like Socorro, uh, Segundo, and places like this, those are places that, you know, it's just, it's fundamentally El Paso. The culture's there, it's based on family. The riches that you grow up with aren't, they're not material, they're emotional, they're, they're, they're spiritual, they're, that's what, that's what El Paso is. It's evident in, in everything that Gus does. It's everything in the appreciation he takes for El Paso, like the culture. If you look at, you know, just the brewery itself, right? The artwork, the beers he makes, the events he holds, they're all influential uh, things to El Paso. And it brings out our culture, it reflects in him. We are a brewery uh, located in the barrio right next to Lincoln Park. And uh, it's a place for the community to come in and enjoy a locally crafted beer. So these are gonna be the fermenters. These are replacing our little small nano fermenters. Um, these will help us to distribute across the city. Josh is our head brewer. And he, uh, He's going to be boiling the, the beer right now, so. Oh, beautiful, huh? The, the train. <laughs> we, we generally love this city and we try to implement the city in our drinks. Not, not only do we see El Paso as, as one city, but we also see like Juarez as a whole. So me being from Juarez, we also bring that. What makes the main, main difference, and again, I know I go back to Lincoln Park, but it's the location. It's not a, uh, you know, in a very uh, commercial place or a very big area. It's, we're nice and hidden. People feel special because they find this place. It's like, oh wow, I didn't know this existed. And, and you know, and again, being next to such a wonderful um, park with such beautiful artwork that, that translates to our history, as, as Mexicans, you know, it's, it's, I think it's, it's such a, a beautiful touch that, that we get to have. When you see those beer cans dedicated to, you know, like for example, Segundo Barrio, right? And, and you see the label and you see, you know, take a look at the can and you realize that, wow, this is, this is El Paso in a can. We open the space for anybody, um, for artists, not just uh, muralists or painters, but also musicians, writers. So that is the main thing that we, we do. We also open the space for political stuff. Regardless of your beliefs, regardless of what party you're in, uh, we like to open that our space because we feel that that's how the community is gonna know. That's how they're gonna learn about what's right and what's wrong. And they can make that decision, but they could come here at Old Sheepdog and make it into a neutral ground. We like to help out in, in ways that, not just donating money, but also bringing awareness. Um, the awareness of, you know, of rescue dogs. We also bring awareness to like helping out, not just in the community in El Paso, but also like outside of El Paso, like the Raramuris, we, we, uh, we made a beer for, for them to help out when there was a, the big freeze over there and they didn't have any water. So we helped out over there and giving part of the, of the proceeds over there. This is just one of those things that you just say, this is a special place, right? And this is, it. I think it's the atmosphere and the atmosphere comes from a special person. And that, that's, that's Gus. We really do enjoy helping people. And this is who we were, me and my wife, before we opened the, the brewery. We were already doing that with our home. It's just the love that we have for El Paso and, and it's our home. And you know, we, we, what we want, we wanna just grow and make, make El Paso, make everyone proud of us.